Welcome to Syrup Drop. I'm Jessica Bomiero and this is Rose Bahar. Hey everyone. And you are watching the very first Syrup Drop of 2017. That's right, new year, new us. This year I'm Jessica Bomiero and she's Rose Bahar. And while you swallow that, <laughs> we have reporters on the ground at the biggest and first tech event of the year. CES Consumer Electronics Show. It's so uh, established that it doesn't even need a fancy weird name. Just <laughs> Consumer Electronics Show. And so far, the biggest announcement to come out of this giant tech event is the BlackBerry codenamed Mercury, latest smartphone from the Canadian smartphone dealer. That's right. Uh, one of our writers at Mobile Syrup went hands-on with the device, which has some interesting innovations, including a fingerprint sensor that's in the space bar mm -hmm. on the keyboard. That is pretty darn cool, but the most interesting thing about this new device is the partnership that it, that it breaches with TCL. Right, I mean, and this is kind of a continuation of what they've been doing for uh, the DTEC 50, the DTEC 60, uh, but this year they've sort of elaborated uh, a little bit further on what the relationship will mm. be in the future and sort of the roles that they're playing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and remember, TCL owns the smartphone maker Alcatel and has much deeper pockets for purposes such as marketing and distribution, things that BlackBerry just doesn't have the funds for at this time. Well, exactly, and I mean, actually, Alcatel has a sort of a similar relationship to uh, TCL as BlackBerry does. It's an independent company, but it uses TCL to mm -hmm. create those uh, devices. And so basically, it's a it's kind of a match made in heaven for mm -hmm. BlackBerry and TCL, or TCL does the hardware and the hardware design, and BlackBerry does what it really loves, which is security and software. And also, you know, BlackBerry might get a little marketing cash out of this. Yeah, finally. and considering BlackBerry's marketing strategy has been heavily criticized in yeah. the last little while, not really by any fault of its own, just because it doesn't have any money for marketing, this could be a real match made in heaven for the company. That'd be really nice. But what's really interesting is that this kind of flies in the face of what John Chen originally wanted the company to turn into, a securities and software corporation, but does stay true to his original promise that it would license out its security security software to other smartphone makers. This is true. I mean, one can only wonder, will this relationship eventually lead to something more? Perhaps a merger? Perhaps an acquisition or something like that? I mean, it seems like they, they go well together, like peanut butter and jelly, so we'll have to see. It's true. The year is young, yeah. and so young that there's already been several leaks on the Galaxy S8. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I have written a lot about a lot of leaks. Um, some seem very true, some seem a little iffy, but so far this year has been already full with the Galaxy S8 leaks. And most recently, you actually did something up about one of the first sort of realistic pictures that we've mm -hmm. seen of the phone, which came from Weibo, and showed mostly bezel-less, but not completely bezel-less. Mm -hmm, definitely. It was a, it was a, it was probably the first full image that we have of the device. It looked like it was a gold color and it had no mounted buttons on the front. So no home button and no buttons on the two lower sides. So it looks like the home button and or fingerprint sensor will be built into this display. Which sounds really cool to me. The uh, leak also espoused the idea that there will be two different size variants. We've heard this a lot. This seems very likely. Um, we've also heard that uh, the phone might come with uh, with wireless earbuds or at least launch alongside them, even if they don't come for free. Um, we've heard that there might be some sort of solution where you can plug the S8 into a computer and have a PC set up, um, much like Windows Continuum. There have been so many leaks about the S8. Oh, it so almost many. seems like sort of a bit like throw the kitchen sink at it a type thing. Yeah. But that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? It does. I mean, After. with the Note 7 disaster that took place last year, Samsung really wants to come out strong with this new device. And it's reportedly launching sometime in April somewhere in New York with maybe 10 million units ready to go. But we launch. don't know anything for sure. We also don't know whether or not there's going to be a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the device because this was a front-facing image we got today and we weren't able to check that out for you but as soon as we do get any more information we'll be sure to let you know i think that's all we have for today that's it well don't forget to leave your questions in the comments and we will get back to you as soon as possible and smash that like button watch again next week see you soon